Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here in the garage tonight, doing a little bit of goofing around. We've got <laughs> another winter storm bearing down on us. Uh, winter is trying to make up for lost uh, time. Had a really light winter as far as snow goes, but uh, now even in, into April, we're getting uh, threatened with, in my area, I'm not sure right about where I'm at, but in my area, some areas might get up to a foot of snow with this uh, weather pattern we got coming in here uh, over the next uh, about, about a day <clears throat> so we're gonna keep it indoors it's a uh, it's icy and snowy and windy <laughs> but uh, we are gonna take a look at a new product that was sent over to me by the good folks at Bear Creek Arsenal and uh, this is what they are calling their AR-15 uh, red dot pretty cool tactical looking unit I don't have an AR-15, but I uh, do have a Hatsan Jet 2, and we're going to have some fun with it. Um, just to tell you a little bit about this guy. So this guy has uh, comes with uh, protective covers, front and back. It does have red and green uh, illumination for the red dot. A little... Covers with uh, rubber dust cover, dust boots on them. Uh, actually, they're they're retained. That's the first one I've seen with covers like that. They have little retainers, so even if you unscrew it, you can't drop it and lose it. But uh, it has this really neat cantilever mount, which I really like. It says on their website that it's a four MOA red dot, but uh, it looks much closer to one of my two or three MOA red dots. I do have some other brands of red dot that say they're for MOA and they're much larger than this. So uh, I'll try to capture a picture and put it up here so you guys can see it. But uh, <clears throat> it definitely uh, it definitely looks smaller than some of the other ones that claim to be for MOA red dots. So, but uh, I got the Hatsan Jet 2 here in 177 caliber. Um, I have a couple of splatter burst uh, little one inch dots down there that we're going to take some shots at. Um, but this is a, from Bear Creek Arsenal. If you uh, are interested in this or anything else, I have a link down in the description to their website. Let's go ahead and take some shots with it and uh, see if we can hit anything. If, if we can, it's not the fault of the, the red dot, I'm sure. But uh, really cool, uh, really cool little carbine. Hit a little high. Could use a little tweak on the adjustment, I guess. There we go. So that four. So I've got a couple of the uh, paintballs that was sent over to me by uh, <clears throat> Hank over at Arizona Air Guns, or not Arizona, uh, Indiana Air Guns. Sorry, Hank. Um, let's see if we can hit those paintballs. That was easy. <laughs> got one more there. Hmm. I... I nicked it, but I don't think I popped it. Let me... All right, yeah, I did not pop that one. Uh, I just must have just grazed the top of it just enough to uh, get it to move. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, got a couple more pellets here, see if we can get it. <clears throat> That was a good hit. That one made a nice mess. <laughs> Let's uh, finish out the mag here. Oh, that was the last shot. Cool. That was good timing. But uh, there you go. That is a pretty cool little addition to the channel. It is a really nice quality made piece. Um, very, very inexpensive 
uh, well under $100 for sure. You can find this either at the Bear Creek Arts or uh, it is available on Amazon as well, I believe, if I remember right. <clears throat> but uh, it's pretty cool. That's the green, and then let's flip it around. And the red, the red actually even looks finer. <laughs> and uh, even on the one power setting, the, the first setting is more than bright enough for out here in the garage. And uh, the, uh, I think the, <laughs> I think the highest setting is a little too bright. It probably would be too bright even outdoors, but uh, that gives you a lot of uh, a lot of room there. So, but anyway, I really appreciate uh, Bear Creek Arsenal sending this over to me. I think it found a new home here on the. Uh, I did have an old uh, Bushnell. Uh, red dot on here and I like that on here as well but uh, this is a really good fit for this little guy and I definitely uh, think it'll just stay there and uh, <laughs> be ready for uh, action. I keep this thing loaded and, and hanging up here. If I see a rat or a squirrel or something that's getting in trouble out in my backyard I can get this thing out and take care of it real quick. Got this new uh, moderator sent over to me by Red Corn Outdoors. Really appreciate that. Got my 10,000 subscriber. Congratulations on it. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. Bear Creek Arsenal. Cool stuff. They got a lot of neat stuff. The A uh, lot of AR stuff. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get any of that stuff up to New York. All their stuff is all real AR stuff, and we can't have it. In New York but uh, they do have a lot of cool stuff that uh, actually can be shipped to me and, and be uh, <laughs> reviewed as well so cool new uh, affiliation for me and uh, a lot of fun for the channel hope you guys like the video till next time have a great day